Hey, how's everyone doing? I'm gonna make a quick video here. Or I shouldn't say this is gonna be a quick video. I'm making a video about the, um, I have a 2001 Honda Accord here. Uh, I just picked this up, pretty cheap. Pretty mint condition, pretty nice. Um, but it had a blown transmission. This car came from California. So it has the ULEV motor, VTEC. And I'm swapping the transmission. And I'm going to make this video about the Maxa MAXA transmission and the BAXA BAXA transmissions. Um, this car, being a California car, came with the Maxa transmission, which was made in Japan, which is this one right here. Let's see if we can get a close up on that. Here we go. Sorry about the shakiness, I don't have the gimbal. But anyways, you can see it. That's um, This is the transmission that came out of the car. And it was just pretty much slip in, wouldn't drive. It was just totally screwed. And so I went looking around for a transmission and anything that I could find as far as um, Maxa transmissions go, oh, they were up there $900,000, $1,000, somewhere around there. I just wasn't gonna pay that, not for this car. Although it is nice, 130,000 miles, fully loaded, EX, leather interior. It's a really nice car, sunroof and everything. But I went to a local junkyard here in Norwalk, Connecticut, LaJoy's, and I bought this transmission. It is a BX, BAXA transmission right here. Now the reason I'm making a video is because I've been online for like the past, oh, two hours trying to get any information on this. Posted in the Honda Accord forums and that sort of thing. And um, I really couldn't get any good information on swapping these two over. Um, but a lot of people said, a lot of answers were they're the same exact transmission. You might have to change a sensor or two. I don't know. Um, we're going to figure it out, I guess, is what it comes down to. Now, now that I said that, let's just try changing the sensor. What's an easy one? All right. The American-made transmission, made out of Ohio, obviously has this uh, cut plug on it. Okay. Now let's see if we can put that on this one. No. doesn't fit so this is the uh, Japanese one right here so now I don't know what this sensor is right here I haven't bothered to look up what these are but let's see yeah slid right on what else do we got here now we have one right here I don't know what this sensor is I haven't bothered to look let's see if this one plugs in Yeah, went right on. Okay. Uh, what else do we got here? Um, hmm. Oh, this one, the one I bought is missing. This has one of these. Right here, so I got to take this one off and put it on that one. Um, let's see. See if we have any more plugs here okay we have right here these look like this would be a shift solenoid or something let's see let's see now this goes on here yep yeah those went right on Hmm. Oops. I'll put these back on just because. Um, hmm. I took this off mine, but we have some right here. Let's see. 
Hold on, I'm gonna shut the camera off. We'll pull these off. We'll try it on my solenoids. All right, we're gonna try these two sensors now. Let's see. I already loosened them, so that's good. Plugged right in. Plugged right in. So all the plugs match, except for that one. Okay, so yeah let's take a look at the differences side by side here uh, everything's the same no problem bell housing Yep. yep, they're all the same. I don't see any differences. Except mine still has a starter and I never took the starter out yet. Oh um, yeah, let's go this way. Oops. Yeah, that's the only thing that's different right here. I don't even know what that is. I'll look it up when I'm done with this video. I'm going to post this tonight because I'm not going to start putting this transmission in tomorrow. Until tomorrow, and I'm hoping maybe I can get some advice here. What needs to be done? Uh, this right here, I have it already taken off on this transmission over here. But yeah, this is all the same. All the same. Uh, same. Same. Um, yeah, I won't know until. This is easy to take off this piece right here. Let me spin them around. I'll show you. I will say you're going to be doing this stuff around your house. These little Harbor Freight dollies are pretty good for like six bucks. Let's see. Okay. Yeah, same exact things. Here's just these 10 millimeter bolts, one, two, one, two. This is a cover, comes off. Then there's, a, I think there's one or two underneath there that holds the piece in. Then here, here, and this just all unplugs and plugs into the other one. Plug looks the same, so I'm not worried about that one. Um, hmm. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. So there you go. We have our Baxa, B-A-X-A. -A. We have our Maxa, M-A-X-A. -A. So hey, maybe the guy's right at the junkyard. He swears it'll work. So I told him, I'm gonna go through all this nonsense in this one little tiny car garage. <laughs> you better be right, buddy. <laughs> um, let's see if we can go grab this piece right here just to make sure that they look the same anyways. Cause I'm not gonna bother trying to take this off to plug it in on inside the engine bay. It's not worth it. So hold on one sec. All right, I'm back. I have mine. I'd have to say it's like a neutral safety switch, maybe. So here goes the plug. Looks the same. Oh, here's the piece right here. Let me take this out. All right, I got to put you down for a second. Hold on one second. All right, I'm back. So we got this. I got this plug off. Let's see if it fits. Uh, trying to figure out how to hold this camera. Hold on one second. Sorry for the shakiness here. Fit right in. So there you go. It does. Just about every plug is the same. All but one. That's all the different connectors, electrical connectors anyways on here. So that's all of them. Um, I don't see anything else here to really review. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to change that one sensor up over here. So my plug works. 
and we'll go from there. It's weird how that one just does not want to... Let's try it again, because that has to fit. Okay, the little nubs... The little nub is right down there, so we'll match that up. No. Ah, here we go. So that's it, yeah. Every single one of them fits. How's that for you? I didn't even realize that. Okay, yeah. So, as of right now, I'm not changing everything, anything because all the plugs fit. All the sensors, the uh, connectors, we're golden here. Why mess with something that's not broken, right? <laughs> Now, if I get pull some codes on the transmission once I start it up, we could start swapping uh, sensors. They're all easy to get to, except for the one we were just playing with, this one. And this one. It's the same sensor, I should say. This one, you have to pull out the, um, the rear engine mount to get to it, because it's really, really tight. I had a hard time with that. Or you could pull off the intake on top of the car, uh, intake and throttle body to get to this. Either way. Yeah, so you can do it that way too. You gotta remove the coolant hose if you really wanna try squeeze it in there and really working on it. Um, it's not worth it, it's just better off taking off. This rear mount's pretty easy to take off. There's nothing to it, honestly. Um, yeah, so we just went over everything here. Everything seems pretty freaking good. Uh, one thing we didn't look at, the shifter linkage. Um, let's see. Oh, huh. Hold on, let me get these all swapped around. Hold on. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, shifter leakage is the same. Right there. My shifter cable's hanging underneath the car. But yeah, it's the same. It's the same exact thing. It's okay. We're golden right there. Um, let's see. Torque converters next. So hold on. Okay, so here goes the two converters. I got this one marked old. So this is the one that came out of the car. Here's a new one. There's eight bolts that hold this on. I think they were 10 millimeters. There's a little notch in the oil pan that you could get, um, you can use a socket. I had to use a quarter inch drive socket with the 10, with those quarter inch drive, uh, 10 millimeter. Came right off, easy peasy. All right, let's see how much fluid we're gonna dump. Yeah, they're the same. Yeah, let me flip these back down before they uh, start pouring fluid everywhere, like this one already is. Oh, geez, nice. <laughs> there we go. Uh, oh, I hate transmission fluid. It's the only fluid in the world I know that'll go up. It'll literally defy gravity and, like, flow upwards. All right, that's good. You guys don't want to watch me clean enough freaking oil spill. Okay, so that's good. All right, so that's it. There's our comparison right there. Maxa? Maxa. All right. Um, so I'll end this video with that right here. And, um, yeah, once I get the transmission installed, started up, we'll go through that and see what check engine lights come on. As far as the transmission, I got a scanner that does everything. Does the transmission, SRI, it does everything. So we're good there. And we'll go from there and see if my uh, ECM needs reprogramming or reflash or re something, which I'll have to probably bring it down to the. Um, there's a Honda shop um, over here in Stratford, Connecticut, that I could go to Honda Acura, a little speed shop. I'm sure those boys know what they're doing. All right, so that's it for now. Until the next video, bye.